All right, where do I start? Hello, world. Have you been experiencing Google Chrome crashing, Mozilla Firefox crashing, and occasionally Internet Explorer crashing? I don't know why you use that, but yeah. If you've been experiencing these crashing, you probably thought it was a virus, did a few scans, came out clean, but your browsers are still crashing. Now, I have a solution, but this only applies to 64-bit users and it's a permanent fix. Now to find out if you are a 64-bit user, go to My Computer, right click and click Properties. Under System Type, you will see either 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. If you have 64-bit, continue watching. Now, you may ask yourself, why is it crashing? Well, the reason is Flash. Now you may ask yourself, why is Flash crashing? Is it a virus? But I came out clean. Well, the engineers at Flash decided it'd be smart to in, uh, implement a protect mode for Flash. So if a bug was ever detected, hackers could not use it as an exploit. I didn't feel like they really needed to implement that because Flash is already secure enough and they're just adding junk into it. This new protect mode is not compatible with 64-bit operating systems. As the memory usage on 32-bit and 64-bits are different. And the way protect mode works is it, it utilizes process and memory RAM. So you want to disable that to stop the crashes. And I'm going to show you how. Alright. Now be aware. Before we go ahead and start the tutorial. We are going to be tampering in a location where all your important system files are located. So, throughout the video, please follow my steps and do not get sidetracked by your ADD and tamper with something else because you will screw up. So let's start. Go ahead and go to start and go to my computer. You want to open up your main hard drive which contains all the files on your computer. It's usually labeled as OS C colon or operating system C unless you change it otherwise. Go ahead and go into that. Now you want to open the folder Windows. This folder houses every aspect of your operating system basically. So don't tamper with anything. Scroll down until you see SYSWOW64. That's the folder you want to go into as that's a 64-bit folder that houses everything for that. Go ahead and scroll down until you see Macromed, short for Macromedia, that's Flash. Go ahead and double click on Flash. Now you're in the Flash folder. It contains a few files, you don't really know what they do. Well, you want to go down to mms.cfg.config and you want to open this file with a text pad editor, notepad, something like that. And this is how you open it. Go ahead and double click on that. By default, a window is going to come up and it's going to say it could not open this file because it doesn't have the right program to open it with. Well, you're going to select the second option, select a program from a list of installed programs and click OK. Now you see Notepad and a bunch of other programs. Click Notepad and click OK. If you don't see Notepad, click Browse. Now click OS or your main hard drive on the side and go down to Windows. Scroll all the way down and you will see Notepad. Click open and it will open up now. Once you have it opened up with Notepad, you're going to see two lines here, auto update disable and silent auto update enable. Leave those alone as those are fine. We're going to add a new command here. We're going to disable the protected mode, which is not compatible with 64-bit operating systems. Go ahead and type this in on the third line, protected mode equals zero. Now, please type this in as you see it here as capitalization does matter. Once you have that typed in as so, go ahead and go to file and click save. And that fixes your problem. After you've done that, just restart your browser or restart your computer. I recommend you restart your computer as it reloads everything again. 
so you won't run into any problems. Now go ahead and test it out. Go to a website that it usually crashes with and chances are it will work. You go to YouTube, videos will load faster, all that good stuff. So with that being said, I hope this tutorial helped any of those 64-bit users that were pulling their hair out trying to figure out why their browsers were crashing. Now the reason I made this tutorial was because I do online schooling and my browser would crash during test and I had to figure out what the fuck was causing that. So if this helped you just uh, subscribe, comment, up like it, all that. If you need any help, don't be afraid. Just message me and I'll be glad to help you. Thanks for watching.